Hi everyone, welcome. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. I appreciate the support. I really love hearing your stories, so thank you guys for commenting and liking the video if it resonates. Thank you for sharing and subscribing. Keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your storyline. Only take it if it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. But let's see what the energy is for someone out there. This is your energy group. Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, The Lovers, The Magician. Hmm. Bear with me, guys. Hold on. Okay, this is a third party situation. This is specific for someone out there. I'm actually getting two storylines for this energy group. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody that rejected you. I don't think, and I'm not saying to just go ahead and forgive them, but I don't think that they were in their right frame of mind when they rejected you. They were in Eight of Swords energy. I feel like they were really burdened. They might have been overworked, stressed out. They just had a lot on their plate. They couldn't really think clearly. I think their family members might have been stressing them out as well. People around them. I just feel the energy of like a lot of noise. It was just this person couldn't catch a break. This person was just really overwhelmed. And you might have even said something or given them an ultimatum. And they might have rejected you just because they just couldn't handle anything else at that moment. I feel like they made a choice, though. I, I feel like they made a choice. And I feel like they ended up rejecting you. I feel like that choice was to reject you or push you away. Um, and now they're regretting it. I do want to say, too, I don't encourage anyone to go for relationships like this. Like, if, if someone's, you know, not appreciating you, pushing you away, sabotaging, playing mind games and not even considering your feelings or what that's doing to your mental health. I do not encourage you to go for a relationship like that. So I hope you guys understand that, that even when I do readings like this, I'm just telling you what the energy is because you're all adults. You can make your own decisions and you know you don't deserve to be left in the dark. You deserve to know what's going on. But, but me telling you what's going on doesn't mean that I'm encouraging you to give someone like this another chance. But this is just what they're feeling. This is what the energy is. You know, whoever this person is, they are feeling regret. I feel like they chose someone else over you. For some, I feel like they're actually doing magic to try to manifest you back. For others, I feel like there was a third party that did witchcraft on them. Um, and I'm a witch myself, so I'm not judging witches. There's, you know... Saying witchcraft is evil is kind of like saying fire is evil. There's, you know, fire can warm your house or it can burn your house down. It's It depends on, you know, how you use it. But this this to me, this Queen of, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like she's a very dark witch. I feel like she's one of those witches that just, there's no universal balance. She doesn't really think things through. I feel like she's very impulsive. Like she'll just throw out a hex or she'll do love spells. Um, she wants to win. She doesn't really respect magic. She doesn't really understand magic. She could even be a new witch. She might, because I just get this energy with this, this reverse queen of pentacles. I just get the energy of someone who like, they don't understand nature. They don't understand the laws of the universe. They don't understand karma or universal balance. Um, I just feel like this is someone that just wanted to get their way and they just threw out a lot of dark magic without even thinking twice about what they were doing. She just, to me, she just feels very inexperienced because it feels like if she did do dark magic, it just doesn't feel like it was justified in any way. I feel like she might have even had to go to another practitioner and pay them to do dark magic on this person because she didn't know how to do it herself or she just... I just keep hearing like inexperienced and just feeling a very young, very immature, very inexperienced, very um, kind of like a stubborn, kind of bratty 
selfish energy from this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So if she didn't pay someone else to do spell work, I feel like maybe if she did do it herself, it's like she just kind of threw it out there. Like she just, she didn't plan it out. She didn't think through it. She was upset about something and she was just like, screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to Google, I'm going to, you know, look in one of my books or Google how to do a spell. Like, I don't think she even knew how to do it on her own. I think she had to like ask other people for advice or have someone lead her through the spell like I don't I don't think she understood what she was doing I feel like it backfired on her I feel like for one thing I think that well someone's in like meditative mode like contemplating things I kind of feel like she's realizing she doesn't love this man and, you know, take when I when I say, you know, different genders, take it as it resonates. This could be two men or two women. Um, this could be a man that's doing this, you know, whatever gender it is. But anyway, I feel like she's recognizing that she doesn't really love him all that much. I think it was more about winning or I think maybe he said or did something to piss her off or she just didn't want to lose. This could even be a family member that might have done some dark magic on him. It's like it was very impulsive. Whatever this this spell or rit ritual was that she did, I just feel like it was very um, sudden. Like it was like a sudden turn of events where it, it's it's like it, it wasn't something that she was even really thinking about doing, I don't think, or if she was maybe for like a couple days, but it, it's not something that she sat with. It's yeah. Let me see here. Tell me more about this. This man might have even gotten obsessed with her, and now she's kind of like, ew, wait a minute, I didn't want this. <laughs> like, she... <laughs> she might be the type that just wants what she can't have, and maybe she didn't like that he was pulling away from her. Um, she's seeing his childish side now, is basically what I'm feeling, and she doesn't like it. All the things about him that... All the things about him that like were hidden are coming to the surface and she's not really a fan of what she's seeing. I feel like she doesn't know what to do with him either. I feel like she... Tell me more about this. Bear with me, guys. Because I'm feeling the energy, but I think I need some more cards just to clarify what I'm channeling here. Give me a minute. I'm hearing like he's too much of a man for her is honestly what I'm hearing. Like I feel like he, I, I feel like she thought he was going to be really easy to control. And it's, it's not turning out that way. I think whatever spell work she did, it's like she's lost control of it. Like it's backfired on her. Yeah, she thought it was going to be her wish fulfillment, and it's not. And now she just wants peace. She just wants, she's like, wait a minute. I, I don't want this. I want peace. I want to get out of this. <laughs> Tell me more about this page of cups, king of cups, and devil. Tell me, can you give me some more clarification on this energy I'm feeling from her? I think this man is spiritually protected by you. I think that you're the high priestess. This could also be another woman. I mean, this could be a family member or friend or someone that's looking out for him. But for most of you, I feel like this is actually you. You're the high priestess that's looking out for him. So I kept hearing this song. What is what is that song? I, I don't know who it's by, but it's You Don't Own Me. Don't try to 
tell I, I think it's like don't you don't own me don't try to tell me what to do don't tell me what to say don't tell me I can't go with other boys you don't own me I'm not just one of your mini toys um it's a really good song and I was listening to it earlier and it was coming up it was like playing in my head and I was like okay it's probably just playing in my head because I was like listening to that song earlier but I'm like wait a minute, wait a minute no I think it's actually coming up now in this reading because it's a message I think that's kind of what happened um I think that these two were not really very the storyline I'm feeling here what I'm channeling is I feel like these two weren't really compatible I feel like she just wanted to one up you or it could have even been spite like she might have been pissed at him because she knew he was going to choose you or she just felt like I feel like something happened I, I it's going to be different for everybody but I just see her getting very upset about something it's like a conversation they had or something took place and I feel like she was like you know fuck him I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna be the one in control or I'm gonna get back at him or something it's like and I don't think she hexed him necessarily. Like, I'm not feeling that kind of energy. It just feels like more like she wanted to dominate him or she wanted to be in control. She wanted to do a love spell. I don't think she was ever really completely certain of him, though. I think it was more loneliness. Like, I don't think she really had anybody else. Like, I don't think that... I just don't think she really loved him that much. And I think he felt that. Like, I think that, like, when they were together or when they were hanging out, like, I think that he kind of felt like she wanted to date other men. Like, she might have even rejected him for other men. She might have even told him, like, hey, I have, you know, all these other guys that I'm talking to. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I'm trying to figure out how I feel. Like, I, I feel like she was really uncertain about him in the past, and I think she made it clear to him that she was uncertain about him. I think she really did like have other men and she let him know like, hey, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to date you or not. I might want to, you know, date these other guys or I have a couple other men that I'm talking to. Like, you know, I need to figure it out. Um, I think she almost sees him as like beneath her. This guy, like she was, it's almost like a bitterness I feel where she's almost like, I feel like maybe the other men rejected her or they just didn't work out for some reason. And I almost feel like maybe her loneliness kind of took over and she was, it, it's almost like she just feels like she's above this man where she's like, I didn't even want you that much anyway. Like you're my last resort. You're my last choice. Like who, who do you think you are trying to, you know, now you're not sure about me or now you don't know if you love me. Because I almost feel like she saw the incompatibility between them. They were always on different pages. I think I think she was the first one to see the incompatibilities between them. She I think she was the first one to lead him on and reject him for, you know, other men or whatever it is that she rejected him for. I think she just didn't really... Um, there might have been some feeling there, but I think it was more lust or it was... Like, I don't... I don't know. It, it's just... There was something missing, and I think that she really felt that and expressed that to him in some way. Um, but I think in the beginning, I think he was actually really attached to her or really in love with her, and he was really kind of... Um, it's like this illusion energy between them. I think he was really chasing her, and he was seeing... Um, he was maybe projecting onto her. Maybe she was like a false twin flame or something. And maybe he met the real twin flame right after her. Um, something of that sort. Where it's almost like maybe he was picking up on a certain energy and he thought it was coming from her, but it wasn't coming from her. So I just get this energy of like illusion where it was like he was under the illusion for a period of time. And then later on, she was under the illusion and he was free of the illusion. Does that make sense? I'll try to I'll try to explain the storyline here that I'm picking up. But um yeah, I feel like he was chasing her at first. She was rejecting him. She saw the incompatibilities. She saw him as like um I feel like she can't be alone. Like I feel like this is not someone who's very independent. This is someone that like probably has to have roommates or she has to like hang out with friends all the time. Like she can't she, she doesn't like herself like she doesn't like just being by herself like she needs other people to kind of feed off of maybe even like an energy vampire to a degree possibly for some um 
But yeah, she was seeing all the incompatibility, isn't he? He, I think he was the one that was under this, like, she might do glamour spells on herself because I just get this energy of, like, illusion where it was almost like they've always been really incompatible with each other. Like, they, they wouldn't be able to have, like, a deep friendship or anything like that. Um, there was no deep connection there. But, but yeah, I think that, like, maybe her glamour spells or something or something that she did, some kind of seduction, could even be, like a like, some kind of seductress here. And I feel like it made him see potential there that wasn't actually there um and so he was chasing her and she was kind of just like no like you know you're not what I want like kind of seeing him as like a last resort like if she had no other options she would go for him because she doesn't want to be alone um maybe leading him on and having him message her and and give her attention just because she likes the attention, but she wasn't really feeling it all that much. He was he was one of many guys. This woman's not a very loyal person. She likes to date multiple people at once. Um, but yeah, I feel like something... Okay, so after that, I, I feel... Um, I feel like something happened with her other options where it's like maybe the glamour wore off... Maybe you being the high priestess, maybe, maybe, or whoever this high priestess is, even if it's not you, maybe you made the glamour wear off. Like maybe you kind of exposed her. Maybe you did like a truth spell or something on her. Um, there was some kind of clarity where I just feel like she was exposed in some way. Maybe it was even her own bad karma. And, and so I feel like there was almost this bitterness when she was, you know, going for your person. She's like, damn, like you're my last option. Like I did not want I wanted these other men. I wanted multiple options. Like she's like pissed off that she only has this one man left that she can possibly seduce. Um, and I think, you know, her motives are going to be there. It's going to be different for different people. I think, you know, the main motive is just loneliness. Um, just, you know, that was like the one man that she had left. I think if you did spell work to remove the glamour that was on her and she knew about it, she might have been pissed and want, maybe wanted to do this partially just to get back at you. But I just get the energy of her like wanting to control him, like almost like this bitterness and this anger towards him. So I think she did a love spell on him, but I think it backfired. Um... In the sense that I think that maybe he even got like obsessed with her or he got smothering or he felt, he probably felt trapped because he probably felt like, you know, like this woman rejected me. She didn't want me. And I think maybe he had already kind of started slowly accepting that and accepting that, you know, maybe they really weren't compatible. And then it's like out of nowhere, it's like he feels like he's obsessed with her. He feels like, you know, just like stuck to her in some way. And then, hold on, what happened with that? They might have talked after a long time of not talking, and he was just like, oh my god, this is like everything to me. This is a new start, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and then quick quick ending here. <laughs> Very, you know, brief honeymoon phase, and then reality set in. Um... Yeah, I feel like I feel like he got clarity somehow because I almost feel like. Sorry, I know I keep jumping around. I'm trying to stick to the storyline. So, so yeah. Anyway, after she did the the spell work on him, you know, out of desperation, loneliness, anger, not out of like a genuine love for him, um, I feel like he got kind of obsessed with her, and I feel like he chased her. And I feel like they started talking, maybe even after, you know, I don't know. It, it just feels like they, they, st they started having, I'm hearing they started having sex for someone. Um, I, I just feel like he started really like getting obsessed with her, but like it didn't feel natural to him. It was almost like he he started smothering her, I think, where he was, like, messaging her all the time. 
um, constantly wanting to see her, constantly like telling her like, you know, he misses her, he wants to be in her life. And I think all these things kind of almost like he didn't understand it. He almost, some part of him almost knew he was under spell work because he's like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. This woman rejected me. This woman told me she wanted other guys. She told me that we weren't compatible. She told me that, you know, in the beginning from right off the bat, she told me that, you know, I, I wasn't her type or I wasn't what she wanted. Um, and I was accepting that. So I don't... It, I don't understand like why I'm suddenly having all these strong feelings for her and, and chasing her and wanting to be with her like this isn't it, it's almost like it didn't sit right with him and it makes sense too because she's not even an experienced witch she didn't know what she was doing she didn't consider the consequences of just throwing out spell work like that you know and it was so sudden for him that I almost think that he he actually kind of knew he was under some kind of spell work he 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 kind of Sorry, I thought someone was at the door and they weren't. <laughs> Weird. Um, anyway, he, he, I think he fought it. I think he fought the spell work because it's like, it, it, again, you know, with an inexperienced witch like that, it, it's like it just didn't... He could tell. He could tell there was something not right. He's This man is spiritually open enough, psychic enough to be able to pick up on things like this. So he was like, mm, this is this is weird. This is this energy doesn't sit right with me. It could even be things that you taught him, possibly being the high priestess, maybe even told him about magic or about things like this. And maybe he was like, mm, this sounds familiar. This sounds like what I know about love spells. Like this doesn't, you know, like I feel obsessed with this person, but I don't, you know, I agree with her. I don't feel like we're compatible at all. So why am I so obsessed? Why am I smothering her? And I feel like this woman that did this spell work on him, this love spell, I think that she got kind of grossed out by his energy because she's like, damn, like I just didn't want to be alone or I just wanted revenge or whatever. I didn't want like good morning and good night text from you every day. I didn't want like constant dick pics, like you constantly wanting to see me. She's like, w she was like, wait, I made a mistake. <laughs> like, you know, cause she, you know, you know, think about it. She already wasn't that into him and now she has him all over her. Um, and she's like, damn it. Like, I think, I think, especially during Mercury retrograde, if this just happened, you know, spells can really backfire during Mercury retrograde. If you, if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, I think she got really annoyed with him, like being clingy or whatnot. I think she pulled away. I think that also kind of started helping him remove the illusion as well and see it more clearly. Um, cause you know, like I said, I feel like he's been fighting it cause it doesn't come naturally to him. I feel like you're protecting him too spiritually, even if you're not conscious of it, you might not consciously be putting intention into like, you know, getting rid of her or whatnot, but I think it is helping. Um, I mean, just your, your, you being the high priestess, I think helps him just on a spiritual level, uh, temperance, two of wands, four of pentacles, high priestess. I almost feel like for some you're spiritually battling her, but you're not even really that conscious of it. Because I feel like she met her match with you and she's she didn't expect you to be that powerful. I feel like she's having anxiety because she didn't expect it. She thought that he would be really easy to control. She thought she didn't really. OK, so. Oh, OK, here's what I'm getting. Um. Because I'm getting some additional details, so I'm just going to go back to what I've already said just because I'm, I'm picking up some more stuff here. I think actually during the spell, I think it was more like she wanted him to be like a boy toy. Like she wanted him to be um, like she didn't want a romantic relationship with him. She never wanted a romantic relationship with him. I think it was more like she wanted his attention again. She wanted to have fun with him, whether it was sexually or having him buy her things or just having someone just to talk to and cuddle up with. Um, but but she wasn't looking for that relationship. She wasn't looking for something commitment, solid. Um, and so I think that's, that's a big part of how this spell backfired is because, you know, especially if you're doing love spells, like you don't know how it's going to affect the person. So it, 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 you know, for him, it like, he didn't want to be a boy toy. He, 
he got obsessed and wanted, you know, a relationship. He wanted something solid and she she kind of just ran for the hills. She's like, I don't want that with you. I never wanted that with you. Um Yeah, she also didn't expect you to be so powerful. She didn't expect she she thought he would be really easy to control. She thought she she kind of I don't, that's why I feel like she's just an inexperienced witch because it's like she doesn't really understand witchcraft that well, you know. Especially she had like a like an idea in mind, like well, I'm gonna do this spell and he's gonna he's gonna do this specific thing and he's gonna give me this amount of money. He's gonna have sex with me or he's gonna um, give me attention whenever I want. It's like the, the his, you know free will and emotions come into play here too, even with your intention. Um, so she felt like he was just out of her control and that freaked her out a lot. And your energy came up to protect him and it, it gave her anxiety. Maybe even gave her nightmares because she didn't expect a battle. Nine of wands is like the nine of wands is like the wounded warrior. It's like a final battle. She wasn't, that battle is giving her anxiety because she didn't expect that. She didn't know about this high priestess. She either didn't know about you at all, or if she did know about you, she was cocky enough to assume that you were harmless and assume that you didn't have any spiritual power when you actually do. Let's get some final messages on this. Yeah, it's over with them. I feel like he wants to come back to you now and give you a love offer because this illusion is removed. This love spell that he was under. Yeah, illusion. Seven of Cups. <laughs> he was juggling because there was some kind of illusion. There was some kind of rich witchcraft being in involved here. And now I feel like he has a new perspective. He feels heartbroken over the past. Because I think he realizes that you were the Queen of Cups. Like, you were open to him. You actually did want everything he was wanting with this other girl when he was under this love spell. Like, you naturally wanted those things with him. This Queen of Cups... You know, this other woman is very shallow. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Very shallow. Very selfish. You're the queen of cups. You're the high priestess. You're a very spiritual person. You're very powerful. You're emotional. Um, you're honest. You're open. And you were giving him this love offer. I mean, you genuinely just wanted that. You wanted, you know, marriage, commitment, something solid. You wanted the emotional connection with him. Um, and instead, he went looking for it somewhere else. And now he's just kind of kicking himself for it. He's realizing, you know, it's like his wish fulfillment was in the past with you. Six of Cups, Three of Swords. He's very heartbroken. Wow, the Emperor and the Empress. He wants to be a power couple with you, too. He wants to build some kind of empire, some kind of a legacy with you here. Let's get some final messages about this. Yeah, the illusion's broken, I feel. The illusion's broken. You helped this man spiritually. You helped him. Your light, your energy just protected him, even if you weren't consciously intending it. Yeah, he's healing from this conflict right now. Hmm. Yeah, he realizes being sneaky and trying to juggle you with someone else just got him left out in the cold. It was kind of his own bad karma, too, for allowing that. Because even if you are under spell work, you still have a choice to... I mean, it's hard, especially if there's love spells involved. Those can be pretty strong. But, I mean, he still had a choice not to treat you like crap in the process, you know? Yeah, he wants to rush in. He wants to rush in and offer you something. 
He wants to tell he wants to show you that he's transformed. He wants to tell you that he's transformed, that he's learned his karmic lessons, that he's gone through like a death and rebirth process here, that he's spent time alone and really, you know, gone inward to figure all this out, and that he does want a ten of pentacles with you. So and that's the storyline. I hope that helps someone. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. And thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate you guys commenting, liking the video, um, sharing if someone may be on social media or, or someone you know needs to hear this, and subscribing too. I, I do these readings pretty frequently. So thanks for watching, guys.